and hello everyone welcome back to another name tutorial in this tutorial we'll be talking about ropes ropes can represent very long strings so very very long strings very efficiently in particular concatenation is done to o1 instead of o n now for those of you who have no idea what these are just don't worry too much about it, just know O1 is faster than ON. So basically, concatenation, things like that is very fast. If you need efficiency, you can use ropes instead of regular strings. So let's import std ropes. And here we can say let A is equal to rope and hello world. So it is basically the same as a normal string. We can even echo out a here as well as use dollar symbol to convert a rope into a string because this is a rope. And if we use a dollar symbol, it will become a string. Convert your rope back to string. If we were to run this, then they'll both look the same. But this one has the type of string, which is slower than a rope. And this one has the type of a rope, which is faster than a string. You can also use a string formatting with ropes. So let's say we have echo dollar one is dollar two and likes to eat dollar three. We can use a percentage symbol to say rope neck rope 16 and then rope pizza. So you can still do string concatenation and use ropes because ropes are in general a little bit faster than strings, especially when it comes to string concatenation, like in this sense. Now if we were to run this, we'll get Nick is 16 and likes to eat pizza. So Nick is 16 and likes to eat pizza. So dollar one, two, three, you know, they follow the same order. We have already covered the similar formatting before. Let's save this in a variable B. Then here we can just say echo B at index five. And take note, this will be a rope. This will be a rope since we concatenate using ropes. So this will automatically convert the string into a rope. But it works the same. We can say B at index five as well as the length of B. So if we go here, so I is at index five, zero, one, two, three. Four, five. There we go. Okay, so yep, it is I, and the length of this is 33 characters. So it works the same as a string. We can also go here and say variable let C is equal to rope, and, and I like to eat it too. Now to concatenate these two, we can say echo B and C. It will concatenate the values B and C in a very efficient manner. So now we have like a 16 and likes to eat pizza and I like to eat it too. You can also go B dot add C. And if you echo out B, it will now be basically C has been concatenated into B. So it will get the same value as what we just had, but this time B has been modified to contain C. And you can also concatenate an array of ropes, such as echo, and we just say ampersand, create an array. Let's say B, C, rope. Damn. There we go. Now, as you can see, they have been all concatenated together. And finally, Ropes have been modified a lot to work very similar to strings in a sense that you don't have to worry too much about conversion the whole time. So we can actually go variable f, which is a file, is equal to open written dot txt in fm write mode. And if we just say write into f, the value in B and then close F. There we go. Now if we were to run this, 
then here's a new file called written.txt and here's our rope in the form of a string. So you don't do have to do any changes here or make any changes to this rope to write it because a lot of things that works with strings will work exactly the same with ropes because in Nim, they are the same thing, but a rope is much faster than a string when it comes to things such as concatenation. There's a lot more you can go learn about ropes, but this is the basics and we'll get you into ropes. There's not too much about it. It's just this fast string. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next NIM tutorial.